It's the green street wheeling and dealing, mink coat rocking, private jet hopping, longest continually operating retailer in the game, Jason Beck. Oh, yeah, Rico. Good morning, everybody. Hope everyone is having an amazing Monday. Hope everyone enjoyed the Super Bowl, whether you lost or won. We always knew that there was going to be riots in Philly. Either way, it went. But nonetheless, Rico, I do thought I did think, though, that in regards to to the day today of clean out your computer day, I thought that was for Hunter Biden. But <laughs> nonetheless, uh huh, exactly, exactly, exactly. You guys, oh man, I'm glad you guys have jokes as well. That's right. But to the, I'll tell you what, you know who ain't laughing is the people involved in my story because they, I bet you, they don't think any of this is pretty funny, even though a lot of us in the cannabis industry are, because the maker of raw rolling papers is ordered to cease marketing claims. That's right. Rolling paper company Republic Brands has won a permanent injunction in a federal lawsuit against HBI International, the maker of raw organic hemp rolling papers, which requires HBI to cease promoting and selling certain products and stop making certain promotional statements. The plaintiff Republic Brands is the rolling paper company behind OCB, Job, and other rolling papers as well. Following a jury verdict last month that HBI International engaged in unfair business practices and violated the Illinois Uniform Deceptive Trade Practices Act, the rolling paper company has been banned from suggesting that its products are made by artisanal craftsmen in Alcoy, Spain, the birthplace of the Raw Foundation, which the court did not actually found that the, that it did not actually even exist in the first place. In total, the United States District Court of the Northern District of Illinois on January 31st, 2023, marketing material or statements by pers by personnel, any of the following. So basically, they're saying that they cannot do any of this anymore what the court found that HBI and or raw con contributes its funds or proceeds to a charitable entity foundation dubbed the raw foundation that raw organic hemp rolling papers are unrefined and that raw organic hemp rolling paper adhesives are made from natural hemp gum that raw organic hemp rolling papers are the world's first and only organic or organic hemp rolling papers, and that raw organic hemp rolling papers are made in Alcoy, Spain. That HBI International shall not include a packaging stamp using the word Alcoy or referring to Alcoy, and that raw organic hemp rolling papers utilize wind power. That raw organic hemp rolling papers are made from the center of hemp stocks and that HBI or its founder, Joshua Kesselman, invented rolling paper pre-rolled cones. Yeah. And uh, that OCB organic hemp papers are knockoffs, raw, raw nabis, so-called in quotation marks, copies or fake versions of raw rolling papers. The court ordered HBI to stop promoting, selling, or distributing products in any way that would violate the enjoyment of the enjointment. Additionally, after May 31st, 2023, HBI is forbidden from promoting, selling, or otherwise distributing rolling paper products under any any of its brands, other brands, which include Elements, Juicy Boys, and others in packaging that includes an Alcoy stamp. HBI International did not immediately respond to a request for comment, and I'm willing to guess that, man, this has to be a major, major blow to raw its whole thing its whole marketing platform and everything else and they've just proven to be very deceitful to its consumer base and will the consumer base continue to follow raw i'm not sure but time will tell and this is jason beck reporting for high at nine news what do you guys think about this <laughs> 